Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rustic Wife. I'm Alana. It is about quarter to seven at night. Um, I got home from work at about 5.30 and I've been outside collecting sap. Um, it's a really nice day and it's kind of overflowing so we need to get that done before we can have a boil tomorrow. But I have nothing prepared for supper so I just came in and I was stuffing my face with chips and dip and I thought I better <laughs> make something and I didn't put anything out. So I thought, you know what, this is a good opportunity to do a video and bring you along with just pulling stuff out of the fridge. Now I do have some chicken left over, some roast chicken from the other night. So I thought I would do um, a chicken pot pie filling with some biscuit top. So we may not eat for an hour, but at least um, we will eat. So I'll bring you along with me. And here's my chips and dip. So I'm going down to the basement to get the chicken out of the freezer. I'll go to the root cellar and grab some carrots and some um, things from my pantry shelf. And we'll get this chicken and biscuit thing going here. I'm just going to dig up some carrots. You can see some of them have sprouted on the top, but that's okay. Here's a big carrot. That should do just one of those ought to do. I'll take two. I think I'll put a potato in it. Got an onion. Need some corn. This is some sage that I dried last year and some thyme. And we will have canned peaches and ice cream for dessert. There's the chicken. Some uh, Beef stock, I don't have chicken stock, but what the heck, I'll use beef. And I'm gonna need some butter. And I'll preheat the oven to 450. That is to bake the biscuits on top of my chicken pot pie filling. Okay, I have the potatoes, carrots, and the onion peeled, and I'm gonna chop those up and get the chicken chopped up, and then we're gonna get our sauce started, put that together, and then make the biscuits to go on top. So hopefully we are eating before midnight. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with um, one small onion. So I'm gonna make this whole thing in my cast iron skillet. That way I don't have to transfer the sauce into another pan and I can just put the biscuits on top of this and stick it right in the oven. So it's gonna be a one pot baking thing. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna turn it to medium heat and I'm gonna start with about a third of a cup of butter. I just eyeballed that. So let that melt, then we'll saute our onions. And while that's going, I'm going to cut up the potatoes and the carrots. I'm gonna cut the carrots you know, fairly small because I want them to, I don't want them to be crunchy in my pot pie. So that, that was probably maybe two small carrots. And same thing, I'm gonna cut these potatoes fairly small so that they cook all the way through. So maybe half of a large potato, about like that. Maybe that's about a cup, I guess. So I have my onion, my carrot, and my potato cut up, and the butter it has melted, and we're gonna saute the onion in the butter. All right, the butter has melted, maybe a little bit too fast, and I'm gonna saute this onion. And you know, I'm gonna add the carrot and the potato in there before I add my flour to thicken it, because I wanna make sure this cooks. I won't have it in the oven very long, once the biscuits on top because they don't take long to cook. So, I'll just let that saute with the onion. Next, I wanna cut up the chicken. So I've got a roast chicken here from the other night. This is the chicken breast that we had left over. And this is one of our homegrown chickens, so that's always nice to have. And I probably want about two cups of cooked, cooked chicken. 
Maybe some pepper. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of salt. I've just got some dried thyme. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. And just some sage. Just to taste. So to this carrot, potato, and onion, butter mixture, I'm actually gonna add one third of a cup of flour. Usually you'd make kind of a roux out of the flour and the butter and the liquid first, but because I wanted the carrots and potatoes to cook with the onions, I'm gonna add the flour now, which will be your thickener. And it's gonna kind of get pasty. But that's okay, because next we're going to add in the liquid. And like I said, I don't have chicken stock for my chicken pot pie, so I'm using beef. But that's okay, I've done it before and it tastes fine. So there's one and a half cups of beef broth. You can use water and one of those bouillon cubes, but I don't have any. So you can see it's starting to thicken up a little bit. That's what we want. And we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of milk. I also wanna turn the heat down to simmer. I'm going to add my cubed chicken and then some corn and some green beans. And then we will make the biscuits open up a can of corn that I pressure canned last year. Probably going to put in, I don't know, about a cup. I have some frozen green beans. I don't have any more of my own green beans, so I bought some of these green diet. So they're good. And maybe about a cup of those too. And I'm going to add in the cooked chicken. Stand a messy stove top. Drives me nuts. Now, because this looks um, a little bit like it needs more sauce, I'm gonna add some more broth in here because remember, I'm gonna have biscuits in here which will soak up a lot of the liquid. But it looks good so far. So I'll try about a half a cup how that goes. Maybe a little bit more. So it's probably about another quarter cup. So I added an extra three quarters of a cup. I might add some more green beans. I don't have any peas and usually I add peas in here. That looks pretty good. So I have this simmering away here just really gently because I don't want to reduce the liquid at all turn that down a little bit and I'm going to make the biscuits for the top. One cup of flour. And half a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm just going to give that a stir with a fork to mix in all the salt and baking powder. And then I'm actually just going to grate in. This is cold butter. And I'm gonna use my cheese grater and I'm gonna grate in a quarter cup of cold butter. There, that's about a quarter cup. Mix it together. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of buttermilk. If it seems a little bit dry, you can add another tablespoon or two of buttermilk until the dough comes together. There we go. All right, for the biscuits, um, I could just drop them in, but I don't want them very thick. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of flour on a piece of wax paper. I'm 
we're going to take the dough, flour your hands, and just kind of pat it out. I'd say it's about a half inch thickness. However, however thick you really want your biscuits actually, but I don't like them too thick when I put them on top of a um, stew or something like that. Let's get a little bit of flour. And I'm gonna cut these with a round biscuit cutter here. Now before you put the biscuits on here, you might wanna taste it to see if it needs any more spices. So I am going to do that right now. Pretty good, a little bit bland. So I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Probably about half a teaspoon should do it. And I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, but I'm gonna use my chive salt and I have a video and I can link that above and I made some salt using my chives last year. So maybe another half teaspoon. This is whatever you like for spices to your taste. So that's pretty good. Next, I'm gonna put the biscuits on top of here and stick it in the oven. And then you can just re-roll the scraps. I should have added more flour to this, but I didn't. But that's an easy cleanup right there. Now I'll use this side to re-roll the scraps. I just have a baking sheet with, um, actually it's an old pizza pan, with parchment. And I'm just gonna put a cast iron pan on top of that to put it in the oven, just in case the liquid bubbles up and I don't wanna clean up a mess in the oven. So we just put that at 450 and we'll try that for 20 minutes. See how it looks and then we will decide if the biscuits are golden brown. If not, we'll put them in for a little bit longer. The pot pie is in the oven, so I'm just gonna get these dishes done and then we can sit down to eat. And on an unrelated note, look what I bought today. Pretty. It is, I don't have my glasses on, but I think it says Palissy Pottery from England. And I thought that would look beautiful with some of the flowers that we grow this summer and have a little bouquets around the house. So yeah, pretty. We have five minutes of baking time left, so I'm gonna get the table set and we should be eating by eight o'clock. Now we would have been eating earlier, but I filmed this video and that took a little bit longer, but I figured if we went out for supper, we would be eating at eight o'clock anyway. So. Um, it's almost done. Got my dishes done and the table is set and I think the buzzer is ready to go off on the oven. Just a few seconds left. So pretty close, 8.02, and we're eating our supper. <laughs> so there we go, we've got chicken stew with biscuits, or if that's what you wanna call it, or chicken pot pie with biscuit topping. It looks pretty good. And then we have some home canned peaches to go with our, our supper tonight. Well, that's it for supper and we 
had a nourishing meal and it didn't take too, too long to make. And it was using everything that I had on hand, even a few things that I threw in there like beef broth instead of chicken broth. So just goes to show you what you can make from your own pantry or your refrigerator. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again next time.